Hey, what's going on YouTube? Cars and Vape here, John proceeding. Today we have taken a trip from my house to uh, a quiet neighborhood location to uh, do a little uh, revival video here for the, uh, the 99 Honda that I'm currently sitting in. You guys have seen videos about this car before, and we're just now getting back to where it's working properly, yet she still does not love me. I put money, transmission, and aftermarket parts into this car, and it still resents me. We've thrown a wheel bearing, I believe, and it's making a lot of noise, but it's still drivable. I jacked it up. I, like, took and shook the wheel with my hands, and... So far, I haven't had uh, any play or travel in the wheel, so it's going to hold together for now. It's just loud and annoying, and you have to listen to the radio really loudly to get over the noise. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to get out and... Sh oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, I think I just found... A, I made a discovery all of a sudden. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Discovery. Very. Very typical. Very typical discovery. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Here's the, there's my car. She's been uh, sitting up for some time now. Drug her out of the woods behind a friend's house the other, uh, not too long ago. He was the one that helped me put the transmission in. You'll see him on the other videos. This car was trying to keep it pristine as best I can. It's got blemishes, the paint's failing on it, but yeah, I still keep it clean. It was uh, it was my mother's car. She passed away in 2009 of uh, breast and over ovarian cancer. And uh, the car was left to me and you know, for three months after I received it, I was scared to drive it because I didn't want to mess it up. But push came to shove, had to start driving her. All right, let's pop the hood. This is the best part. More money went into this motor than anything else on the car. And here we have a J30A VTEC 3 liter. It is the V6, has ungodly amount of torque. And that transmission down there just got replaced and I think I got to tighten the cap up on the transmission it's leaking fluid out the top wonderful but a uh, couple aftermarket camshafts uh, extremely short cold air intake we're just gonna call it the hot air intake because uh, it's right over the transmission and that heat comes straight up I eventually want to take and run it down over here if I can later in life. Um, other than that, some performance spark plugs and uh, NGK distributor and seven millimeter NGK wires with double silicone ends. High heat. Um, a little bit of the, the paint work in the back there uh, was done by Brad, also of this channel and also of B-Town Paranormal. He sprayed those baby blue for me, kind of throw off all the monotony of black and silver. Uh, I hand sprayed the uh, the uh, dust covers myself to give it a little pizzazz. Most other things in the motor are things you cannot see because I'd have to take it apart to show you what I did. But um, yeah. Inside on that. 
the people around here they must get bored with their partner or something because this looks like a secret midnight meeting here. Just saying. Aggravating. But for the longest time, when I worked with the city of Bayminet here, um, we used to find these everywhere. So this is a really typical thing here. And looks like uh, somebody spray painted a pentagram on the parking lot over here. You know what? I'm gonna, let's go walk and look at that. I don't know what that is. Looks, uh. I know this was supposed to be about a car, but. Anybody familiar with this? I have no idea what that means. It looks ritualistic. I don't know, I'm making, sure, making sure you guys can see that. I wish there was a way to turn this camera around, but on my phone it's not. If you guys can see that, can, but the glare from the pavement's making my phone where I can't tell if I'm aiming it right or not because I got it turned facing me. Uh, you guys know what that is, feel free to let me know. Oh, God, I almost walked through the, the uh, condoms on the ground. <sighs> All right, back in the car now. Oh, y'all guys, take a look around at pristine back seat. It's still there. Passenger seat still looks good. The seat I'm sitting in looks like crap because it's the one that gets set in the most. Uh, all the trim pieces inside the car, uh, you know, even the sunroof, my old Planet Audio sticker from when my system was in here. Still functional, everything, no leaks. Um, uh, yeah, um, if you guys are looking to buy a 99 Honda, just be aware of the transmissions, but the motors and the interior and the bodies hold up well. You just have to keep, uh, keep fresh paint on it. My windshield's broken too. System didn't help that much. Um, and of course, as old as the car it is, you actually do have a home link system on here and it does work. It lights up. I'm probably, hopefully, not opening somebody's garage door from here. It's going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. I, I, I ought to program it to a friend's house and then drive over there and uh, mess with them. Um, yeah. So we got graffiti on the sidewalk over here, and we've got... Two used rubbers on the ground. Two. Just realized that there's two. Why didn't I think about that before? What What's going on here? There's something fishy about that. Anyway, I uh, figured y'all would get a kick out of that or be disgusted one. But you know me. I just find things and then I video them. I gotta get a sip of water. So, also what I wanted to show you on this car was uh, the values of doing a muffler delete when you have a high flow intake. Brad can tell you about this stuff too. Uh, his Eclipse that he had, had a uh, high flow intake and a custom exhaust. This one does not have a custom exhaust at all. This is a factory pipe. I just dropped the rear two mufflers off of it because they were really easy to access and I got them in a closet until I want to put them back on. I've got plans for this car, plan to lower her down, put her on some nice wheels, you know, and you know, sport it out, street it out, get it not paint, get it painted and all that good stuff. So 
I'm gonna try and set this up where you guys can hear it with the muffler delete. I have to look at my steering wheel for a second. Okay, I got my stand fixed. See if you guys can hear it from here. Too bad without the mufflers for the V6. I don't know how the four cylinder sounds. I'm pretty sure it would sound good too. But uh, now I get my steering wheel straight. I can sit you guys here. The uh, weird thing is um, the amount of horsepower you actually get just by removing part of your exhaust system it frees up a lot of back pressure and it allows your car to have more throttle response so when you leave a red light you'll notice that it's got some extra get in the first gear for those of you that have a first gear i now have a first gear my old transmission no first gear no second it just had third and part of reverse that's how bad i messed it up don't ever race never ever 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 race in America, you, in, you know, in America here, in Alabama especially, you get to find about $900 and then you gotta go pay that in court costs plus tax, almost 1100. I got, uh, I fell just shy of that. I had to pay about 900 even after court costs and all that because I, I was real honest and I didn't give the, uh, the authorities no trouble. Don't race. Um, this uh, pretty much concludes my uh, little personal tour of an old car. Basically, this car is my old friend and it is now running again. I'm just showing everybody that it is driving, which excites me because it's been down for so long. It is a stout car for a four-door. Piss a lot of people off. But uh, anyway, until next time, and on the sidewalk drawing over here, if you guys know anything about that design, uh, feel free to comment and let me know because I would like to know myself. But until then, this has been Cars and Vape and for our one year, I decided to come out here and do a car shot. So y'all stay cars and y'all stay vaping. And most of all, you all stay safe. And I will see you later.